Hey there folks, Derek Pierce here, and in this video we're going to be talking about why your private blog networks don't rank your shit. Now, I hate to be so blunt, however, we all know that private blog networks are the best way when it comes to ranking in the safest and fastest time frame possible, but if you're watching this, chances are you may have seen an instance or two where it just seemed like your site didn't take off or it didn't rank like you had expected it to, and that's what we're going to be covering in this video. So. First of all, this applies to those of you that are buying age domains as your private blog network. It also applies to those of you that are using a Web 2.0 private blog network. So either strategy, what we're talking about here applies to you. It also applies for anybody that's wanting to rank a website, ranking videos, local marketing, affiliate marketing, anyone looking to get free traffic from the search engines. So let's go ahead, let's dig right in. So Reason number one that your sites aren't ranking your or your PBNs aren't ranking your stuff is maybe you're looking at the wrong metrics. Okay, now we've all been taught for years upon years that page rank is the main factor that we want to look at, right? Well, page rank is extinct, so you may be wondering, well, what do you look at now? If you've been looking at the wrong metrics, it's not your fault. So don't beat yourself up or anything like that. It's just something that has happened over the last couple of years where page rank is started to slowly started to fade away and in the last year and a half or so has been something that I rarely look at this particular metric. So there's two things that you want to look at. There's the domain authority from Moz and there's also the Majestic Trust Flow. These are two of the, the main things that you want to look at when it comes to metrics. These are a lot more accurate when it comes to uh, determining a site's value or determining a domain's value when you're looking at buying age domains. So we do this using two free tools and I'll put links below this video. One of them is called the Moz Bar. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago. And the other is the Majestic Toolbar. These are Firefox add-ons that allow you to see the trust flow and one allows you to see the Moz Domain Authority score. So I'm going to exit out of the screen capture or the, the presentation mode here and we're going to go into Firefox. So give me just a second and I'll be right back. All right, so the two free add-ons that we're talking about is the Moz Bar. Again, I'll put a link below this video, Moz Bar, and then the other one is called Majestic Backlink Analyzer. And you just want to enable these. These may be available for Chrome, uh, but I'm just looking at them in Firefox because that's what I'm always used to. Now, what you can do is when you're looking at these websites, you can see right here where you've got a domain authority score, which right here you can see on this toolbar. This has given us a domain authority of 100 on Twitter.com. And then the page authority score is 97. So this actual tw uh, Twitter page is actual a 97, but the root, the overall root domain authority score is 100. Now, these scores are, are, you know, these are updated pretty regularly, and this is something that you can look at. However, I would urge you to also look at what's called Majestic's Trust Flow. And once you install these plugins or these add-ons, you can see the Majestic Backlink Analyzer by just clicking this right here. And you can see this will give you the citation flow, the trust flow, the backlinks, and the referring domains. So we want to look at this trust flow number right here. And you'll see this is uh, the URLs of 94. you see the root domain is 100. So it's on a scale of 0 to 100. The higher the number is, the better off you are. So you see Twitter has a really high trust flow. So getting links from these types of sites is going to improve your authority, okay, in the eyes of Google. Now, let's just look at uh, another site right here, which is StumbleUpon. And if we look at this one, you've got the uh, Moz domain score is a 99. And then you've got the Trustflow score, which is a 87 for the root domain, okay? Now, this is something that you want to take into consideration when you're building your links or when you're buying age domains, you want to look at these two metrics. Now, once you look at these two metrics and you see what there, that there is, these are good metrics to go by, but you also then want to dig a little deeper and look and see what backlinks are pointed at those websites. You want to see what kind of, what's making up the, the trust flow number, and you also want to see what's making up the domain authority score. Now, these are two metrics that you can use for free 
in order to help gauge how valuable the domain is. And again, I'm gonna put some links below this video so you can install these add-ons within your Firefox browser. So let's get back to the presentation mode and continue on with the training. So reason number two that your site, your PBNs aren't ranking your money sites or your videos for that matter is negative link velocity from your age domain. So if you're going in and you're buying age domains, it's nothing uncommon if some of the age domains start dropping off some of their links. Now the reason you're buying these age domains is because they have authority, they have age in the eyes of Google, and, and they have uh, trust in the eyes of Google is what I should say. But the reason you're buying these and you're investing in these is because of their backlink profile. Okay, the backlinks, the backlink profile is what helps make up that authority, helps make up that trust. And it's nothing uncommon over time to start losing some of those domains especially if you bought an age domain and then you know you're changing it out and everything else over time you, it just happens you know you're going to see some some link loss from those age domains now what happens in those cases what happens whenever you know you see some some links drop off from those age domains well at that point your age domains are not quite as powerful as what they weren't once were when you initially bought them right so that happens it's one of the one of the things that happens in this business now Let's move on to reason number three. Reason number three is lack of trust. We already talked about the trust flow metrics from Majestic, and this just ha having a lack of trust is another reason why your PBNs aren't ranking your stuff. So the big question then becomes is how do you increase trust? Okay, how do I increase trust in the eyes of Google? And it all revolves around getting trust and authority to your PBN by getting consistent links and social shares from sites like Facebook, Twitter, StumbleUpon, LiveJournal. It makes your PBNs look real and it increases your authority. Now we've been testing some different stuff uh, over the last year and one of the things that we've been doing is we've been really focusing on making our private blog networks look as real as humanly possible and that means dropping some social signals to our PBN. So what happens here is once you have your private blog network you start sending some social signals from the likes of Facebook, the likes of Twitter. Let's just go into those, some of those sites real quick. Let's look at Twitter right here, like I was saying before. It, with uh, Twitter, you've got a domain authority of 100. You've got a trust flow of 100. And then if you look at Facebook, right, you look at Facebook, same thing's true here. You've got a domain authority of 100. And then you've got a trust flow of uh, 98, okay? So whenever you're able to get backlinks and shares from these types of sites, then what's going to happen is it's going to boost the authority. It's going to boost the trust of your private blog network and make it look even more real. So the cool thing about this is, is you don't have to do anything real complex. Okay, This is not some sort of complex linking structure or anything like that. It simply revolves around taking these social shares from these highly authoritative sites and dripping them out to your PBNs, okay? Now, the thing is about this is the social shares are not doing anything magical, in my opinion. Where the real power lies and where the real juice lies is because Facebook, Twitter, StumbleUpon, these sites like this are super, super authoritative, right? And you're getting love from those sites, which is increasing the authority, it's increasing the trust over time. So. The question then becomes is, okay, how can I do this without pulling my hair out? Well, what if there was a way to automate all of this? Well, what I'm going to be doing is Thursday at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be sending you an email, and there's going to be a video where I'm going to be demonstrating exactly how you can automate the entire process. Again, that's Thursday morning at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to check out the email, and I'm going to show you exactly how to automate all of this so you can get more out of your private blog network. Now, I'm gonna be recommending a product once I roll this out, and I'm also gonna be rolling out a bonus package that morning at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so I want you to be sure to check all that out. So anyway, I'll see you Thursday morning, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. This is Derek Pierce from trafficdiesel.com. Take care and see you then.